That's a better one. That's good. That's something good. That's probably a hog. What's going on everyone? So it is an absolutely beautiful day. It's supposed to be really flat offshore and that really hasn't happened too many times this winter. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can run offshore and I really wanna get something to eat. So I know that there's still triple tail out there so I got some live shrimp for that. But I also went ahead and picked up some uh, mangrove crabs because I heard that those are excellent hogfish bait. So that is the goal for today. I wanna get a hogfish, never caught one on my own. I will be so freaking happy if we can get some hogfish but i'm really just looking for something to do a little catch and cook with worst case scenario i'll get some grunts best case scenario i'll get some hogfish and triple tail so let's see what happens all right so i made it offshore no triple tail but that's fine uh all i'm at oh what is underneath us right now Oh, that's looking good under us right now. Yeah, I'm out here and I'm just gonna drop down. I'm gonna drop down a shrimp first. All this is is like a good ledge with some hard bottom around it and about 54 feet of water. And all I'm using for a rig is a size two circle hook. I'll show you right here. Yeah, all I'm using for a rig is a size two circle hook right here with two little beads right there. I heard that uh, putting some beads on it helps attract the whatever they're called the hogfish the sound and like the the color and everything apparently attracts hogfish so I'm going with that and then on there I have a three-fourths ounce uh, sinker so I'm just gonna be dropping this down to the bottom and I'm using my pen class 3000 St. Croix Mojo Inshore uh, 76 medium light 15 pound braid I think I got 20 pound fluoro liter and I'm just gonna drop it down, see what happens. I don't know what just went by, but there's a good school of something. Getting bit. Got something. There we go. First drop. I don't know what this is. Probably a grunt. Fighting pretty hard. Oh, I think it's a. Yep, yeah, it's a, whatever these are called, a porgy. These are actually really good eating. I might keep this guy. Yeah, it's a porgy right there. Look at the blues in them right here. Let me get the camera. This electric blue color going on right there. It's so cool. These are such a good eating fish too, so I'm gonna throw them on the ice. All right, let me try dropping a crab. So I heard that these mangrove crabs are like the bait or at least crabs in general are like the bait to use for um for hogfish you won't get too much bycatch using these either so if i get bit and it feels good i'm i'm gonna freak out i want to get a hogfish so bad here we go i'm honestly gonna get the net ready just in case nets ready let's drop them down getting bit got him whatever it is I got it oh it's kind of digging is this a hog please be a hog please be a hog fish oh come on it's a gag it's a little baby gag ah uh, I wanted you to be a hog fish so bad Little baby guy grouper right there. These guys are closed anyway, but he's way too small. See you, dude. All right, here he goes. Dude, there's schools of something going by down there. From 45 to 50 feet of water, it's just like a big red mark of just something going by. Oh, oh, getting bit.
That's good. That's something good. That's probably a hog. Come on. Come on, dude. I, I think that might be a hog. It feels really heavy. Come on. What is that? It's a hog. It's a hogfish. Come here. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, my first hogfish. I'm, oh, I'm so happy right now. I wanted to catch one of these on my own for such a long time. Look at that fish right there. That is so sick. Yes, I'm so happy right now. My first hogfish right here on my own. Ate that mangrove crab that I caught over at the bridge. Dropping it down about 50 feet of water. That is so sick. I think he's legal. I'll go ahead and measure him up. If he is, he's coming in with me. They need to be 14 inches to the fork. Yep, he's... Yep, he's a little over 14. So sick. Alright, let's keep dropping crabs down. I've been like dreaming of catching my own hogfish for such a long time and it just feels so rewarding to finally get it done. Hogfish are weird. So they're all born females and so all the smaller ones are females and as they get bigger, like once they reach a certain size, then they transition and become males. I'm, I'm pretty sure snook do the same thing but the opposite. So hogfish, that one was a female and it kind of looked like she was like just about to transition into becoming a male. So I want to get a, one of these big males. I think that would be so sick. Oh, getting bit again. Oh, I missed it. Wait, no I didn't. What just happened? I don't know what just happened. I think one ate it. Oh, this is a good one again. One ate it. What did I hook? I really don't know what just happened. Did something eat my like weight as it was coming up? What do I have? Some sort of jack. Yeah, a little AJ. That's what's swimming around. Oh, there's a bunch of AJs with him. That felt so weird because I definitely missed something eating the crab and then just reeling it up the, and AJ ate the, the weight and beads. I think that's a, yeah, it's a little lesser amberjack. Get the hook out of them. Yeah, they must have just saw these beads going by quickly and just attacked it. There was like five other ones with them. I think the greater the line goes like behind this fin or something. I don't know. I'm pretty sure these are lessers though. See you, dude. All right, crabs on the bottom. Oh, getting bit, getting bit, getting bit. Oh, I missed him. Oh, no amberjack are trying to get it. No. Nope, got an amberjack. Dang it. <laughs> I want to not get an amberjack. Ugh, come on. Like every time I try and reel up my bait now, I'm going to have to like reel it up real slow. And I'll probably still eat it. All right. See you, dude. I don't have as much faith in using shrimp just because we're going to probably get grunts and everything first. But I mean, a lot of people that's kind of still like the go-to bait you're just gonna have to weed through a lot of bycatch see what happens getting bit feels like a grunt oh my goodness this thing is adorable look at this little baby hogfish Oh, you are so cute. That is so cool. You are freaking adorable. And you still kept my bait. You are just the sweetest little thing. Look at this little baby hogfish right here. That thing is like six inches. That is so cute. If this isn't the most adorable little hogfish you've ever seen in your life, let's get the release on this little dude. See you, dude. This is something good. This is something good. Come on. Be the man. Be the man. Be the one I'm looking for. 
Yep, a little, another hogfish. I don't think this one will keep, but that's number three on the day. This one on shrimp, another little female. Here we go, such a cool fish. See you girl. That's a good fish. Oh, come on. Don't be a grunt. Don't be a grunt. Where, what are you? Oh, it's a little hog. Oh, you're adorable. I love you. These are the cutest little things I've ever seen. Little baby hogs are my favorite things ever. Look at him. He's so cute. See you, girl. Drop her right back in the same spot. That's a better one. That is a better fish. Whatever this is, is a good fish. Come on. No! Oh, that was a freaking tank of something. If that was a big hogfish, I think it might have been. So we're back here in the kitchen. I'm gonna show you a very simple, I've done this with pretty much any other catch and cook I've done on this channel. Just a nice pan seared way to prepare this hogfish. I'm gonna make a little asparagus side, but you guys are really here for the hogfish. So let's get cooking. Look how white and perfect this filet of hogfish looks. This looks so good. I've had hogfish in the past and it's one of my favorites. So I'm very excited for this today. And it's got some asparagus. I'm gonna start cooking up first cause that's gonna take a little bit longer and Really the only two things you're gonna need are olive oil right here and some seasoning. And I like using this original Everglades, just a light seasoning on literally both the asparagus and the fish is all you need. So for both of these, I'm gonna set at like a nice medium heat. So this one will be the asparagus and this one will be for the fish. And let those start warming up. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the ends off the asparagus. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of oil to our pan for the asparagus. Let that start heating up. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and add some of the asparagus. Throw it right in there. All up in that oil. Now I'm gonna put a light coating of this Everglades over the top of the fish. There we go, perfect. Now let's put it in the pan. All you need to do is let your fish cook for like two minutes on each side. Yeah, that's what you do. Oh yeah, it's starting to flake. Oh, it's falling apart. That looks so good. Sprinkle some seasoning on it. There we go. Super simple recipe for pan seared hogfish. So I've done the same exact recipe on this channel with triple tail and black drum. So now I'm doing it with hogfish and let's see how it is. Here we go. This is the best one. Out of all three of those species, this is by far the best one. Cooked it perfectly, just like two minutes on each side on like a medium heat and you can see it's just like falling apart right here and it's so mild didn't over season or anything really like honestly i love hogfish they fight so hard they taste so good so you'll probably see me trying to go after this a couple more times in the near future while they're still biting like they are thank you guys for watching this video if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up that would really mean a lot to me 
If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.